Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and in today's video we've got a Mark IV Ford Focus with a 1.5 diesel engine in it with a stop start system not working. So I'm going to put some live data up now, uh, some fault codes first should I say. Straight away we've got a fault in the power uh, powertrain control module, low fuel pressure. Well, I do know the vehicle had just been serviced and someone must have been wanging the car over on the key. Um, we've got some fault codes in the power steering control module as well and one for the steering angle sensor which is quite interesting because the steering angle sensor is also part of the uh, stop start system. So let's get some live data up now. So we're looking at the battery uh, live data and the engine is running so it's showing it's got a conventional charging and we've got a state of charge of 86% so nothing really there to worry about it's not low which is what the usual faults are everything else is looking okay on the battery condition okay so we've had a quick look at it we've got no fault codes in the system at all and we've had a quick look at the live data battery state of charge is 86% so that's more than healthy. Uh, on the later, sorry, on the earlier vehicles, 72% uh, battery state of charge is the minimum. On these Mark IV Focuses, I do believe it's a little bit lower. That's for certain on the one litre mild hybrid. Uh, on the 1.5 diesel, I'm not so sure. So I am working on the 72% value. However, as you can see at 86, that's perfectly okay. So let's take it for a road test and let's see what we've got. Okay, so I've been around the block a couple of times. Engine is up to temperature, as you can see on the temperature gauge. I've got the seat belt on. Uh, currently sat in drive with the brake pedal pressed. And as you can see there, we've got the green light for the stop start, indicating that it should be working. And we've also got the stop start um, inhibitor uh, light illuminated. As you can see, the engine is still running. This vehicle is an automatic, and the stop start button is turned off. If I press it there off, then we do get the deactivated by the switch message on the dashboard. And if I press it one more time, it does turn off and we get the stop start activated message on the dashboard. So with the only fault code that we've got really in there to do with the power steering control module and a steering angle sensor, that could be a red herring. It could be a direction for us. So let's get back to the workshop and let's see what we can find. So we've got some live data up now for the power steering control module and as you can see I am moving the steering wheel and we've got the current of the motor so that's indicating there. We've got a steering wheel alignment offset of minus 3.8. This is its um, just its offset value, it's not the actual value of the steering angle sensor because that's in the ABS. So everything there appears to be okay, no problems to see here. So now we're going to get the ABS up and look at the steering angle sensor. As you can see there, I'm moving the steering wheel from side to side. Uh, so that's indicating, so we've got no problems there. And we've also got another PID value for the steering uh, stop start um, inhibitor due to steering sensor angle. That's showing faults, so no problems here. That's not causing the issues. We're now going to pull up some live data for the stop start inhibitors. And there's quite a lot of data to view. Uh, with Forescan you can put up 29, sec or 29 uh, separate PIDs, so in this first section everything is showing no, so we've got no problems there whatsoever. So let's just delete those and put the next section up, using the filter there to filter out the stuff we don't need to read. So we're now going to put the next section up. And everything there is also showing no. If you was to hover over each individual PID value, it would give you a description of what the inhibitor actually is. But nothing there to look at, nothing there to be worried about. So let's get rid of those. And put the next section up. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of information it's useful for looking at with this stop start system
So let's put the next batch up. And everything there is good as well. We've got a full screen of nose. So it gets a little bit worrying now because everything is showing good, yet the stop start has still got a bit of a glitch in there. It's showing that the light should be switching the engine off, but it's still showing that there's a fault or it's inhibited from operating. So let's put the next section of inhibitor PID values. And let's see if we can find anything. So let's transfer those across. Press the go button. Let's press start. And straight away there in the second row, we've got one that says yes. And that is stop start feature is inhibited due to battery engine management. And that's part of the body control module that controls the battery engine management with inputs from the battery monitoring sensor. And obviously um, powertrain control module inputs as well. So I'm just deleting the rest of them just to highlight that one particular PID. And there we can see stop start inhibitor G208 is showing yes and that is inhibited due to battery engine management. So we've got a little bit of direction now. I'm just putting a couple more up. And we've also now got another PID showing there. So at the minute I'm highlighting the battery current, it's a little bit erratic. Uh, battery state of charge is 88%, so it's gone up 2%. But we have got another inhibitor that's now showing. And that is the battery capacity is too low. Well, what this is, this is a reconfiguration of the body control module, which I did carry out off screen, but it didn't make much of a difference. I carried that out after this screen obviously um, so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to go into the service functions and I'm going to do a module reset of the body control module this is effectively like turning or disconnecting the battery but it just uh, resets the body control module itself so we're going to wait the 10 seconds which I've edited out and switch it back on and then I'm going to take it for a drive Okay, so I've just done a reset of the uh, body control module. Uh, sorry, the camera's not focusing very well. Um, and for legal and obviously safety reasons, I'm not driving on the road. I'm in our back compound area, which is quite big if anybody knows where I am. Um, so we're currently doing 15 miles an hour, 1500 revs. So I'm just going to bring it to a stop and let's see if it works. So there you can go, or well, there you can see even. Green light comes on, stop start has now been activated. As you can see, although it's overexposed, I am in the back compound, we've come to a stop. Take my foot off the brake, accelerate, and the engine starts up. So let's just turn around. Hopefully we've gone enough distance to make it work again. So let's come to a stop again. And the engine cuts out nicely. So, just a little reset there uh, of the body control module. And some valuable live data values to look at there for you guys. And I'm going to call that a fix. So, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything other than about 10 seconds in time. It means the world to me helps the channel grow. So thanks for watching.